Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to show you how to use DeepSeek AI's latest multimodal name Genus Pro in Comfy UI. This model is capable of understanding images through vision and even generating images. If you want to try without Comfy UI, you can go to this link and try Genus Pro on Hugging Face. But now we have a custom node in Comfy UI that makes it practical for image generation. Plus, you, as you can see, it also supports video generation. Let's move on to how to set this up and use it effectively. First, open Comfy UI and search for the keyword Genus Pro. You'll see a custom node will appear. Click the install button and it will ask which version to install. Always go for the latest one. Once selected, it will download the custom node. After installation, you'll need to restart Comfy UI. But instead of using the restart button, I recommend stopping the Comfy UI server. This is because you'll need to run a pip install command. Move into installation process. These commands are universal, so you'll need to run something like pip install followed by the required packages. Navigate to custom nodes directory inside the custom nodes folder. You'll find the Janus Pro folder. Go into this subfolder, open it in command and run the pip install command. Wait for the installation to finish. Once done, you'll see a success message. If you face any issues, don't worry. Most people can get it working by following the pip install instructions. It's a great way to learn if you are new to technical setups on Windows or any system. Next, you'll need to download the models. The instructions will tell you which folder to place them in. Create a subfolder called Genus Pro inside the models directory. Under this subfolder, create another folder for the specific model you want to use like Genus Pro 7B. I'll be using the Pro 7B model. So I'll create the Genus Pro 7B folder following the path. Comfy UI models Genus Pro, Genus Pro 7B. This matches the instructions provided. Once the folder is ready, head over to the official DeepSeek AI model card page on Hugging Face. Download all the files and place them in the Genus Pro 7B folder. After downloading, your folder should look something like this. Comfy UI Models Genus Pro, Genus Pro 7B. That's where I have placed all the model files. Now you are ready to run the AI model. Go back to the co command prompt and start Comfy UI. For new users, if you are unsure whether the custom node installed successfully, check the command prompt window. When it sees loaded successfully and starts the server, you'll see the Comfy UI URL. Scroll up to the imported custom nodes list and you should see Janus Pro successfully imported. If you see errors like import failed, scroll back to the top of the main.py output. You'll usually find hints there like GPU or CUDA loading, errors or missing modules. For example, if you see an error saying no module named XYZ, troubleshoot step by step to fix it. Once installed successfully, you'll see the Janus Pro node properly imported. Now, refresh the Comfy UI web interface. If everything loads without errors, you are ready to test DeepSeek's Janus Pro in Comfy UI. So, Let's see how to use Janus Pro practically in Comfy UI. Click right on the workspace and you will see a menu pop up. Scroll down to find Janus Pro. Click on it and you will see three nodes. The model loader, 
image generation and image understanding. One minor annoyance in Comfy UI is that the floating submenus don't always say stay beside the item you are working on, but it's manageable. Let's clear the current workflow and focus on Janus Pro. So first download the workflow and once downloaded, open it in your Comfy UI. Here we have the model loader. Like most diffusion models in Comfy UI, you need a model loader to connect or load your AI model files locally. You have two options here. Janus image generation that is text to image and Janus image understanding that is image to text. In my previous video, I had created the node which is better than Janus but it only generates the text. You can try that node too. This AI model is a multi-model system capable of both text to image and image to text tasks. Unlike diffusion models like Flux or Stable Diffusion, which are fully trained for image generation. Janus Pro combines large language model capabilities with vision and image generation. So first we will talk about image generation. To use the image generation feature, connect the model loader to the model data and the processor. The processor handles tasks like text and coding. For image generation, type in a text prompt like enchanting portrait of a young woman with striking emerald eyes and wavy chestnut hair cascading over shoulders and you'll get an image output. Drag the preview image node to see the results. In the settings, you'll find options like seed numbers, batch size, CFG scale, temperature and top P. Temperature and top P control the AI's creativity and response variability. For example, a temperature of 1.0 and top P of 0.9 are mid-range settings. Lower temperatures like 0.1 give more predictable responses, while higher values allow for more creativity. I'll choose 7B and try. Let's wait for the image result. Okay, here is the first generated image from Janus Pro in my local Comfy UI setup. As you can see, I didn't use any special settings, just three nodes connected and you are able to generate an image. The image isn't super high resolution or detailed because this AI model isn't solely designed for diffusion style image generation. Its image generation capability is more about collaboration with image understanding. Now let's focus on image understanding, which is the most valuable part of this multimodal AI. Here we have the text output node, which displays the generated text and its strength value. You can also pass the strength output to further processes if needed. With these three nodes, we are set up for image to text generation. Of course, we need, we need the core in input, the image itself. For the text prompt, the default is something like write a video text prompt inspired by the style of this image. As a reference, we aim to create a 5 to 10 second video seen based on it include specific actions, camera movements or effects in the text prompts to guide the video creation. Provide only one concise text prompts, not a full story. This way, the AI will focus only on the character in the image, ignoring other objects. Let's run this and see what happens. It's very fast. Just a few seconds and the text is generated. Once we reconnect the text prompt node, to the clip text encode node. We can use it as the text prompt for flux image generation. Here I have loaded the diffusion model and the dual clip loader. I have also applied patch 2 for first block caching. 
which speeds up the image generation process. Finally, we'll have the image output using the text prompts generated by Janus Pro. Let's generate an image. This is what we have got as a result. Now, let's take it a step further and use Janus Pro for video generation. Instead of creating image text prompts, let's create AI video text prompts using the same image as a reference style. Now, load image and use the image to text features from DeepSeek Janus to create video prompts. I have added more prompt instructions telling the AI to first create image prompts and then add more details to make them suitable for video generation. The final output from DeepSeek Janus will be video text prompts only. This way, we can collaborate using Janus Pro similar to how we used Florence 2. The generated text prompts can be used for creating videos using the image to video method and our text prompt is ready for image to video generation. We also need a text replace function to clean up any unwanted text from the AI's response. You can replace any text with your text like I have a text young women replace with vampire women. You can replace the words in prompt. Copy the generated prompt and paste it in CR combined prompt node. I suggest using prompt combine and modifying the text to add extra motions or actions you want the LTX videos to generate. For example, cinematic scene. Now it's time to generate the image to video. Finally, the image to video is generated. The output video has a similar style to the reference image. That's it for today's tutorial using DeepSeek. AI's Gen Genus Pro 7B in Comfy UI. That is a powerful way to generate images and videos. It's stable, efficient and offers more in-depth text responses compared to models like Florence 2. Whether you are working with reference images or need to batch generate content, Genus Pro can streamline your workflow. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to ask. See you in the next video and have a great day.